PyShoot is an amazing app to showcase your screenshots on beautifully made templates. I'm sure you've wondered at least once how are these templates made. Well today we'll be doing just that, creating a high shoot template from scratch. If you're a designer or developer and want to learn how it's done then this will be very useful for you. Or if you're like me who is always curious about random things then you'll learn a thing or two in this video. We're not going to do any complex coding or anything like that. If you have common knowledge of how to use your phone or PC then you're good to go. A written tutorial of this can be found on Google+, but it's very hard to follow. Credits goes to all those amazing people because this video is based on that tutorial. I will link the written tutorial in the description. So without further ado, let's begin. To keep things simple, I'm going to take an image from Google Images. If you are a designer and have an image of your own, you can use it if you want. Links to everything will be in the description so you can follow along. Okay, so open the image in Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, now will be a good time to install it. Let me explain what we are about to do. We are basically going to find the amount of distance starting from the top left corner and ending on either corner of the screen, where your screenshot will be placed. This will tell the template where to place your screenshot accurately based on X and Y coordinates. Go to Window and Info to open the Info panel. Here, if you move your mouse around in the canvas, you'll see the X and Y coordinates are changing. X represents horizontal and Y represents vertical. Place your mouse cursor on top left corner of the screen. Zoom in about 300% to be more precise. And make sure your panel is open. Write down the X and Y values on a paper or something. I like to note them on my phone. Do the same for the rest of the corners. Also write down the total size of this image. Hit Ctrl Alt I on your keyboard to open image size menu and write down the image size. Now we are going to save this image in four files. One is preview.jpg. This will be the image shown as a preview in high shoot. Frame.png. This is the image used for the screenshot. Both preview and frame are the same but the extensions are different. Shadow.png. This one is optional. If you have a shadow in your mockup, make everything else invisible except the shadow in Photoshop and save it as PNG. Glare.png. This one is also optional. If you have a glare in your mockup, do the same as we did in shadow. In the next step, we're going to create an icon for the app. This step is not necessary unless you want to publish your app on the Play Store. You can skip this step if you want. First, create your icon in Photoshop. I have made this icon a few days ago for my official store, more news on that later. Reset it to 256x256. Save it as PNG or JPG. Go to the link in the description that says Icon Generator. Click Image. Browse and select your image file. You can play with the settings here if you want, but I like to keep them as they are. Click download icon and it will be saved as a zip file. Open it with WinRAR or any zip opener and extract the folder named MipMap XXX HDPI. No, that is not, there is no porn inside it, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Go to the link in the description and download the APK template that we'll be working on. Now our PC work is done. To keep things organized, create a folder in your phone and rename it to apk tool or whatever you want to call it. Send all the image files and the folder we extracted and the template apk to your phone. Make sure you don't install this template apk. Now open the description and download all the required apps. Now open up apk tool. Tap on the template.apk file and select decompile resources. 
After a few seconds, a new folder will be created. We will refer to this folder as template folder. If you've made the icon in the earlier step, open file manager and copy that folder. Navigate to template folder, res, paste it here and tap replace and prompt it. Now copy all the image files. Navigate to template folder, res, drawable and paste them here. Tap replace when prompted. Now open up APK tool. Tap template folder and select browse. Go to res values and select strings.xml. Select droid edit when a window pops up. Change where it says template to sample to whatever you'd like. This is what the app will be named in your app drawer and in high shoot. Tap disk icon then save. Go back and go to assets. Then select template.cfg with droid edit. Change the name and author if you want. Change x and y values to what we noted earlier in Photoshop. Template width and height is the total image resolution. When done, tap disk icon then save. Go back to the apk tool folder and tap template folder. Tap recompile. After a few seconds, a new apk will be created in the folder with src at the end of it. Tap on it and tap zip align. Another one will be created with zip align at the end. Close apk tool and open zip signer. Tap choose in and out and select the apk with zip align at the end. Tap sign the file. Now our template has been finished. Open your file manager and navigate to apk tool folder. Here you will see a third apk with signed at the end. Select it and install it. After it's finished installing, open up HighShoot and enjoy your custom made HighShoot template. If your screenshot is placed wrong, you'll need to change the X and Y coordinates. I hope this was helpful for you. If you are having any troubles, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to reply as soon as I can. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.